Our focus of our program today is to look at what makes the East Texas piney woods look green in the wintertime. And one of the plants that we're looking at is in abundance right here behind me. Uh, its name is Yopon or Evergreen Yopon. And this is Ilex vomitoria in the holly family. It's a member of the hollies, but it doesn't have a thorn on it. It is a common shrub. The leaves of the yopon are longer than they are wide. And on the leaf margin, there is commonly going to be what we call uh, a crenate edge with little areas going into the leaf. It has a prominent mid-vein that can be seen on the dorsal and ventral surface. The top of the leaf is usually uh, a darker green than the ventral side or the bottom of the leaf, which more is more yellowish green or light green. The plant is, the flowers are dioecious, meaning the male and female flowers are separated. And so, when I look at a plant at this time of year and I see a lot of the bright red fruit on the plant, I know that that was the female plant. The male plants at this time of year do not have any flowers or fruit on them, such as the ones that we see in the picture here. They're, these would all be male plants. Now, the berries of the common yopon are an excellent food source for cedar waxwings. And at this time of year, East Texas is being visited by the cedar waxwing, and they'll come in a large group, a drove of birds, and actually come in and pick all the berries off of a plant until there are none left. So in that situation, there's nothing about the stem or the leaves that tell me whether the plant is a male or female. The fruit and the flowers themselves are the key to understanding. This is a plant that bees will visit uh, and that other wildlife species and livestock will browse upon. Why would it be called Ilex vomitoria? Because if the human eats too much of the leaves or too much of the fruit, the plant has a chemical that will actually stimulate man to vomit or to throw up. But many folklore uh, books have teas and poultices that are made from the stems and the leaves of the yopon that people have used as more or less a home remedy for certain ailments. In the wintertime, because this is an evergreen, all of our livestock species and, and many of our wildlife species will use yopon. They will browse upon it, eat the leaves, eat the terminal stems, so that at, at some point, as the stems get shorter, the plant actually will grow in the shape of a pyramid until the stems get so tight and strong that the animal cannot push into the plant any further. What we would see from these plants as leaves from the ground to pretty good leaf coverage to the top of the plant that in a mild winter like we've been having, wildlife have not been depending much upon the yopon. As I look at this plant, I don't even see any of the terminal stems uh, or have been chopped on or have been browsed on by the white-tailed deer that are in the area. The yopon, as it thicketizes, has also, in the view of many landowners, become a pest. So if I'm under the canopy of my oak trees, if I'm under the canopy of these pines, how did all these yopons get here? Well, being that the fruit is a favorite of many of about 14 species of native birds in this area, and if the birds sit up uh, and rest or roost in the above canopy, they will, they will excrete the seeds back to the ground, and where those seeds land is uh, where the yopon is going to come back up. The seed of yopon can pass through the digestive tract of birds 
and including some of the mammals. When I think about varmints and I think about animals that are looking for sugar and it's winter time and I don't have a whole lot of green things to eat, then the, the fruit of the yopon may be eaten by other varmint species and then uh, they excrete the seeds also. Out of the four to six noted species of ilex in the state of Texas, not all of them are evergreens. And so one or two species will lose their leaves. But a very common one that we have in Walker County uh, that we can find in the older age forested areas would be American holly, ilex opaca. And so it too is an evergreen, but the, the leaves are bigger and the edge of the leaves can have points, four to six sharp spines on both sides of the leaf.